fucking keys. Oh! Got any keys for the machine, baby? Oops. Don't want to fuck with that too much. Keys for the machine. The big beast. Got to load up the beast. Take her home. So this bin we had built specifically for, well, it could be any bin for anything, but we did have it built for floating equipment. That's why it has upper D-rings, lower D-rings, front and back D-rings, so that we can strap or chain down properly, whatever we need to. And if a machine's too wide to go in here, you can use the upper rings. If the machine's thinner, you can use the lower rings. It just gives you a few more options. And we don't generally put this ring, this bin out for anything but float moves unless we're super swamped. But generally it stays in the yard just for float moves. These boxes are on the front for the heavy duty straps we use to strap things down. These are the ramps to get. So you always have a couple ramps to get uh, yourself up into the bin with the machines because some of them uh, won't hop in the back. So these little, chocks they'll get you into the back if you just set them up right and that way you can pop up pop up get on the edge of the bin and then get yourself up in the bin ah, and they are good because they attach to the front of the bin and we can take them with us everywhere we go so we'll get in the little s70 and we'll load her up come back next week when we're finished this job and we'll clean up our mess here when we're 100% done we'll clean up the concrete we'll get rid of the asphalt and then uh, we'll wait till we do the pour and everything though just in case there's any changes all right let's jump in this s70 get her loaded up might push that gravel back so it's out of the way make sure everything's neat for the weekend Get loaded up, head home for the long weekend. Getting into this thing is a bit of a squeeze, but there we go. It goes down to, uh, oh, there's a key in it. Didn't need the key. There you go.
I took a couple more tries than I'd hoped, but it worked out. Uh, I guess I just, my aim, maybe because I'm old, my aim is off now. So, those click on there, they're locked on. In these boxes, we got our straps. And then these just lock like that, stay on there. So if the machine's big and it's too close to the bottom D-rings, we can use the top ones. But this machine is obviously small, so not a big deal. We can uh, use the, the bottom D-rings, no problem. Strap has the weight rating to the other side. Make sure it's flat all the way across, not twisted. These straps are good for 5,000 pounds, which probably one strap is probably good for this thing, but we're gonna put two on. For precautions. So that's one strap. Oh, I think we already got the one out of that box. I'll grab the one out of this box. box got a little fucking crushed because it went out this is what happens when you send these bins out to, for fill bins this box got a little fucking mashed with someone filling it which still works though we live in an imperfect world it's part of it so this strap This strap through the front. So there's lots of people that don't bother to chain machines down or strap them down in bins. We like to strap them down just there's an argument that it can't fly out of the bin, blah blah blah, whatever. I like for the amount of effort this takes, I just think it makes everybody feel a bit more secure. If you get seen by uh, MTO, you're strapping things down. These straps are well over the rating for this for this machine. Go. 
Lock her up, bring her back to the yard. Gotta do these in order. You gotta go one, two, three. Or it causes total fucking chaos if you don't do it in that order. And we always lock these chains just for extra safety in case something happens. But here you go. Pick her up and we're on our fucking way. Another successful. Another successful float move. Well, start of a successful float move anyways. <laughs>